I like this guy a lot, dude. Listen, I sit here and I make videos about people's scams, schemes, and influencers taking advantage of their audience, but at the end of the day, nothing ever comes of it. They don't get in trouble, legal action goes out the window, nobody is held accountable, and best of all, their audience forgets about it in two weeks. Let's be honest for a second. If someone were to try to do the same things First that order these influencers do, but they don't have any perceived social pull, clout as the young kids say, they would get obliterated. But since we're talking about Nelk Boys, Steve will do it. Mike Meliak, Summer Rae, Ricegum, Aiden Ross, FaZe Banks, and Associates, they all get a hall pass. Why? I have no idea. They delete some tweets, they hide some videos, they pretend like things never happened, and then boom, you're in the clear. You would really think that these influencers would need to take some time off in between promoting their latest scam schemes and hustles, but you'd be dead wrong. They have to make their seven figures somehow. Now, if you guys are a little bit too into internet culture like myself, dude, those are sorry, we can't watch this video. Got the shit on Aiden Ross, bro. As my as my new best friend, dude. Pepe La. He's he's my he's my little pog he's my little pog champ, dude. <sighs> Lil Krish has been spamming this video for months. I think I didn't watch it. Bro, he's a he's a he's a prominent member of the LG community, dude. And FaZe Banks too. Then you may have heard of the company called Wizza. This sketchy ass company has been partnering with a bunch of YouTubers. So what is Wizza? Wizza is a sweepstakes giveaway company. We give away epic prizes and support great causes. Enter for the McLaren, okay? You guys, if you're lucky enough, can win a $350,000 supercar. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, baby. A 720S, 710 horsepower McLaren. With I see that pinky. The I see that ring on your pinky. So you're married, right? Yeah, Aiden Ross thought having a pinky ring meant that you're married. Steve will do its name plastered on it and the little Wizzo Wizard, because that's cool. Let's see some of the other sweet prizes. The 2021 Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. 2021 Polaris RZR. Are you hoping being friends with Aiden can be a good influence on him and his followers? 100%. Did you reply to Ethan's text that he sent you about FaZe Banks? I did. Rolex GMT Master 2. The Steve will do it ultimate fan experience. When you hang out with Steve, anything is possible. Really, anything. Am I gonna get a reverse grip overhand tug job from Steve? Didn't think so. You get the point. Let's go to the About Us page, okay? How it works. Choose prizes. Choose one of our sweepstakes. Enter for a chance to win. Donate to a good cause while entering to win. Wait for the Wizza. Wait until the Wizza makes his magic happen, okay? So you buy, your name gets put in a bucket, they draw you, if you're a winner, you get a Claren. That's how it works. Just kidding, that's not how it works. We're gonna get into that. What they're doing is- Chat, Aiden Ross is 20 years old, and after I hung out with him last night, like, this isn't like an out for everything he does. I mean, he has scammed a bunch, but like, He's literally 20 years old, dude. Think about how stupid you were when you were 20 years old. Think about how stupid you are currently. Obviously not that stupid. If you're 20 years old and you're in here, you're probably a little bit smarter. You're certainly smarter than me. When I was 20 years old, I was a idiot, dude. I did not have a good influence like someone like myself that I was uh, seeking out for advice or political commentary. So if you're like, you know, young and you're in here, you're probably ahead of the curve. You're ahead of me. That's for sure. I just checked Lil Chris has posted the link to this video 75 times total. I literally need to ban him. Like, I just, he's just like, he's insane. Is taking advantage of their fans' ability to not be able to read. We're gonna dissect every piece of Wizza, but let's get into the dream team, shall we? Let's go to the Super Smash Bros. roster of influencers that are promoting this company. For some context, FaZe Banks and Mike Maliak created a content house, and the main sponsor is Wizza. One can call this the Wizza House. First, let's talk about Aiden Ross. Twitch's new golden boy who got famous by pretending to be gay and admitted to scamming his own fans on camera to their face. Chat, by the way, that MILF token shit I did a while back, I already told you guys, don't buy that shit. I got paid a bag to do that shit. <laughs> like, I don't give a I hope none of you guys actually bought it. 
<laughs> How people still support this blows my gourd. Nelk boys steal logos for their merch company, promote gambling to kids, and are menaces to society, but it's all good because they give people money. Mike Maliak promoted Logan Paul's latest cryptocurrency scam. I did a whole mini documentary on that if you want to learn more. Summer Ray promoted the most recent Save the Kids disaster rug pull cryptocurrency. If you haven't heard about this, just type in CoffeeZilla and have yourself a field day. Phase Banks admitted to running a CSGO gambling website in a foreign country called CSGO Wild and then did not disclose that his affiliates were being paid to promote the site and they would win giant prizes in their YouTube videos all while it being rigged in their favor to promote the site. Rice gum. I'm not even gonna cover this sad excuse of a creator. Just let him speak for himself. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about scamming and da-da-da, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all need to tap in type shit. Tap in, bro. Yo, if y'all trying to scam, hit my line, bro. If y'all, yo, if y'all trying to scam, hit my line. Y'all need to tap in with me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know much about the rest of the creators involved in this, but they're listed on their website. The only other two that ring a bell are Tanner Fox and That Was Epic. The point is, these are not trustworthy people, and they have a public track record of scamming their fans. Because I just like what I don't understand about any of this is like, how do people still fall for this shit? Like. Number one, I will never understand why content creators do this shit to their fans. Like, your fans are everything, dude. They are the reason why you aren't working at Starbucks as a barista. Like, actually, that's a really good job. I don't know why I said that. Especially, you know, solidarity with the Buffalo Starbucks uh, trying to unionize right now. But, like... One more year. One more year. Like how? One more super we would be nowhere. Extra like magical, we would be nowhere without you. Year. Okay, don't get you know, don't get it twisted. Don't let that shit go to your fucking head. Uh, and and don't behave like an individual dumbass in the chat when I say that. But it's the truth, right? Um. So I don't know. I'm like very. I, I'm I'm pretty protective over my community. Same way there are still Trump supporters as a whole, which is why I get so mad whenever people say like dumb racist shit. but you're nothing without me i mean but like it is true it's it's true i've said this a million times over like not to get super sentimental but um but like i would be yelling about this dumb shit as i was for many years Came for Hassan. to Stand 30 for people chat. love you all to myself to my friends like these things that i advocate for i've been advocating for many years almost a decade now Right? The only reason why it has more staying power is because of the size and growth and passion of this community. That's it. That's the reality. So by myself, I'm just another random dude yelling. But United, because of you guys, that's the reason why there's so much, um, at least like so much cleanup that can occur in a place like Twitch. Right? 20 months of making you so i don't understand how you can just like just milk your followers and and fans and like fuck them over yo weird because i don't scam my audience like these other influencers i'm actually able to put my head on a pillow at night and get some sleep there's off your Plus, a fan with a $350,000 full send Ferrari, June 28th. Let's take a look at one of the first Wizard giveaways. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yo, what's good? What's up, bro? Sienna. Sienna. Nice to meet you, bro. Here's the key. How many tickets did you buy? Dude, I just bought one, bro. What? One? Just like, well, it came with like 100 or something, right? You what, you bought like $100 worth? I just bought $100 worth? one. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Bro, I'm like fucking legit shaking right it's now. your car. No shit. If somebody called me and told me that I won a Ferrari, I would be sure to have my script ready because I would know the difference between if I bought one ticket or a hundred. Which one is it, buddy? And here we have Kyle just putting words into this man's mouth. He's like, oh shit. Oh yeah, it's a hundred, not one. Yeah.
Libra Sunho, thank you for the five gifts. I also never understand this. Unless you are absolutely killing it in life, do you know how stupid you would look driving this thing around? All right, boys. So since that giveaway was so successful with Wizza, we're going to do a totally free giveaway on Wizza right now. No money to enter at all. It's going to be this full send slingshot. Wait a second, I thought you had to pay to enter these giveaways, but now they have free giveaways. Which one is it? Now people in the comment section of this video are starting to catch on. People from all over the country entered this giveaway to win the Ferrari, but the winner lived in LA. Number one, how convenient. About 30 minutes. It's not just the insurance that's ridiculous chatter, it's the taxes. You have to pay taxes on that thing, you can't do that. Most people will never be able to do that. The taxes on a Ferrari like that alone, especially in California, dude, are you kidding me? That shit's more expensive than like most cars. Dollar vehicles that you have to report as income for the year. Self nuked. And it's from the Nelk boys. Number two, people have spotted the car being parked in an apartment complex garage yeah, three parked. minutes from the location of where this man won the car before and after the giveaway. So it's like, okay, well, maybe they were just parking that Ferrari in some sort of LA garage, right? Nothing too sketchy about that. Well, the video goes on, and, uh, man, these people are doing some FBI-level investigation. So, they're looking at the picture. Broadway Palace Clapping Apartments. Hands. That's where it was nice. parked. That's where this girl was living. Broadway Palace Apartment. And then, there they are at the actual giveaway. That's a, uh, screenshot from when they went over to the guy's apartment where they had to take this car, and that's an apartment called the Met Lofts. Keep in mind, all of these apartments are in downtown Los Angeles. So, uh, let's see, how far are the Met Lofts from the other Broadway apartments? Wow, three minutes down the road. It really looks like this man was a paid actor, and that this car is not actually his, and that this was completely fabricated to give the illusion that you too can win a Ferrari. According to Aiden Ross, the owners of Wizza are the owners of Rubet. Rubet is one of the most popular gambling websites that is oftentimes targeted towards kids, promoted by- Of course they are, bro. Steve will do it and other influencers. This house is sponsored by uh, a company called like Wizza or some shit. I haven't paid rent at all, but I could do any, if you guys can help, you guys can literally help me come up with giveaways, like challenges and shit, like, like last person to blah, 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 gets blah, 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 blah. Why does he act dumb, man? Like Wizza or some shit? You don't know who's paying for your rent? You don't know whose name is probably plastered all over the place? How do you not know? They're actually really cool dudes, bro. And they're just like me. Like, they own Rubet. They own that site, right? And, like, they don't flex at all. They wear full send merch. It's because he does know, but he wants to divert some attention off of it. Like, oh, yeah, you know, they're new, up and coming. I don't really know who they are. They're sponsoring me. They're super cool. As if they're like the tooth fairy that doesn't exist that nobody knows about yet. Like, you guys can come over to my house and all you guys can put your hand on, like, a Tesla. And, like, we can, like, like, you guys can, like, last one to, like, remove your hand, you know. Um... You're the one defending him? I'm not defending him. I think he's done a bunch of games. And I told him that to his face yesterday as well. Sup, fucker. And it's not okay just because he's 20. I'm just simply stating that, given the fact that he is so young, I hope that he can, uh, you know, not be a dickhead and continue scamming his uh, little baby, little children followers. Did he really bring a bodyguard to your meetup? Yeah, he did. Also, goddamn, bro, this hairline is not looking too good for 20. Bro, being young ain't an excuse. It's not. I was just a, I was a, I was an idiot when I was 20 years old, man. It took a long time for me to develop into this person. A redemption can only be given to someone who wants to uh, redeem themselves. The one thing I could tell someone like Aiden is, listen, how many people did you scam at 20? I had no, I had, I couldn't scam anybody when I was 20 because I was, I had no clout. I probably wouldn't have scammed people though, but I was, a, I was a idiot too. So the thing I was going to say is, and I told him this, you will be remembered as a scammer if you keep doing this shit. Like that's all you will be remembered as. As like a dude who scams 14 year olds and you don't want that. I was like, you obviously have a good eye for content. You know how to do like good collaborations. You know how to, you know how to make like fun shit. Right? Don't do this. Like, you're at the start of your career. Build a community for yourself. And stop scamming your fans. Why would he care? Oh, dude. Let's I think start. people like that...
People like that, of course they care about that, man. They, everybody cares about the way that they're perceived. W streamer hairline. That's right, dude. Problem for him is that like, he is surrounded by people who scam all the time. Uh, gets the car. How do people watch this? I understand that they're wrapping these cars and doing paint jobs on them to promote Wizza. You can miss me driving that shit around town, okay? Imagine that. Is that Filion in the Wizza McLaren? Ah, what a loser. Just leave it the way it is, man. Is there an option where I can get this car stock? This is going to be my favorite part of the video. Let's take a look at the Wizza website and try to understand how this works, how to win, and is this company legit? All right, so let's enter for the McLaren. McLaren, okay? Retail value $315,000. You guys have options for 100 entries for $10, 250 entries for 25, 500 for 50, 2,000 for 100, you get double entries, 5,000 for $250, okay? Enter now. By entering, you agree to our terms of service, official rules, privacy policy. Click here for alternative method of entry, okay? You get some details about the car, you scroll down. Wizza makes life a little bit more magical. We partner with companies and influencers to raise awareness for the communities and causes that need it most when you donate on wizard like what like what dude charities are such ams i swear to god but you get a chance to win something epic people who spend all day watching twitch are losers which makes the streamers the biggest losers of all true yes and to help support a good three. cause. Every donation helps the creators and causes we partner with make a significant impact for good. Let's make magic happen. You guys ready for the kicker? Limit of 10. Bro, the real, the real charity is the top of the hour ad break. Let's be real. That's the biggest scam of all time. Asanabi, you claim to say you care about your viewers and yet you serve them a 60 second ad break at the top of the hour every hour. And to that I say, true, the did the I do that. Thing. That is right. I definitely do that. Now, of course, I also give you options, though. I tell you that you can avoid those ads if you subscribe. You can avoid those ads if you subscribe uh, with a $5 subscription. You can avoid those ads if you subscribe with a Twitch Prime, which is free, right? And that you can avoid those ads with an ad block or a VPN. These are... Some of the many different ways you can avoid the ads for an ad-free broadcasting experience, but Twitch Prime is free. Here's the ad break now. 10,000 entries per person email address. No purchase or payment of any kind is necessary to enter or win. Huh? Purchase or payment does not improve your chance of winning. What? The f does that even mean? Isn't this uh, to avoid the lottery laws? That's it. They have to have that. They have to put that in there so that it's not gambling. That's it. That's literally it. But they make it as hard as possible to send mail because nobody has like snail mail and they make it much easier if you purchase uh, the tickets over the internet and that's it. That's how they, they get you. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did I, did I see something wrong here? Wait, 2020 McLaren 720S sweepstakes is only open to legal residents of the 50 United States and District of Columbia and Canada. Nick La Visa, what is this? The Quebecois lose once again. The racism against the Quebecois. Tabernak. What is this? This guy Merde. sounds like Charlie. Quebec is uh, very Quebec is once again. The mass oppressed of all of the nations. I bet the First Nations people could gamble the life away on Wiza if they wanted to. Not in Quebec! Not in Quebec! Quebec! Why am I going to pay when I can do It's due to consumer protection laws. Le seul la protection du August. consommateur. California actually has something very similar and they're rated to be among the best in the world. L'ossu les protection du consommateur. That is right, uh, the baguette. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Do it for free. If paying doesn't increase my chances of winning, then what's going on here? 
Why have multiple entries if it doesn't even improve my chances of winning? How does this make any sense? I went to college. I got dean's list in high school, okay? I was on the honor roll. I was very good at reading comprehension. I'm wicked smart. I scored Asshole. well with numbers. Wicked I'm losing smart. brain cells by the actual... Oh, no. We found his Achilles heel, bro. He's from, he's from Massachusetts. That's it. I'm back. You yeah, that's like the Boston Andy right, right there. Abby? My man said, I'm wicked smart. Second, trying to decipher this. What this actually... Look, there's only room for one New England Andy in my heart, okay? And that's FaZe Banks. Is, is a bunch of legal disclaimers and legal jargon to cover their asses. How does time. entering more or having double entries increase my chances of winning? Oh, he was just quoting the movie? Okay, thank God. If you scroll down below and it says it doesn't do shit, <laughs> it gets worse. Wow. <laughs> to enter by mail without making a donation during the promotion period, clearly handprint your full name, complete street address, daytime telephone number. Base Banks isn't funny? Dude, you are so wrong. Number, email address, and birth date on a 4x6 postcard with no outer envelope and mail it to the address listed in the applicable promotion rules with attention to the promotion ID and the promotion name noted in each set of the promotion rules. If you think for a second that they are going to give a quarter million dollar supercar to somebody who mailed in an index card to Bumblefuck, then you are smoking out of your goddamn pipe. The people on the Nelk subreddit are catching on to this pretty quickly. People are actually receiving refunds from this entire WZA giveaway nonsense. This was posted six days ago on the Nelk subreddit. So folks, I entered by the free mail-in option, which cost me $30 for Express Courier to guarantee fast delivery and direct delivery to a person at WZA Sweeps LLC. I also stupidly bought tickets for a second draw as well as the first one he held. The office at 930 Washington Ave, Suite 210 Miami Beach, 33139 does not exist. It's not accessible and is vacant according to my my express courier yes it is totally fucked to hear this i asked the express courier company today being oh, yeah, august yeah, 18th 2021 and asked why it shows as not delivered yet as today is the deadline for entry there are attempts to deliver my entry by mail-in on my tracking number but they can't gain access to wizard sweeps llc first attempt of delivery was august 14th 2021 i'm gonna be honest as i read more and more about this entire wizard situation it just gets deeper and deeper i think we're standing at the top of a giant influencer rabbit hole that i don't think everyone is prepared to jump down Yo, bitch, anybody wanna run up, put them all up in the ditch, push boys, no go, better back up quick, you punk don't flop, bitch, you ain't shit! Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>